So a really important thing to do in terms of keeping a library, really perfecting your color accuracy is creating a spray out card. And it serves for a variety of reasons. One, you can kind of see how many coats do I need? You can use it as a tool to kind of help you. And then over time, you can kind of build a library, particularly with difficult colors. You can create spray out cards and then keep detailed information on the back as far as the code, how many coats you use, what sealer, what primer, what clear coat. A lot of them have some writing behind them. Some of them are just blank. Some people even have uh, metal spray out cards, a whole different bunches of kinds, right? But it's important to use them. They're great. Um, and also too, you can see what things are going to look like, particularly with whites, you know, with clear coat, is it going to yellow the shade? Is it not? Um, I'm going to show you a little hack that I learned early on and it's a little like, I don't know, kind of ghetto spray card holder, but it's the nuts. So you take one stick and then two halves. And basically you take two pieces. We're going to wrap it with tape. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> oh. So what I did was I taped that half piece. I don't know if you can see that, but basically I took the longer piece attach the half piece with a little bit of an overlap. That way the spray out card fits right into it. And then what I do is I take this top piece and I'm going to tape right there and then it holds it and it's twofold. Honestly, these are one of those things like you make once and it'll last you a while. There's also ones you can like buy and spend money on, but this works just the same. And the reason why you want a holder is like, if you don't have a holder, when you go to spray it, the paper's gonna fall back because of the pressure of the gun. So by having a support on the back, it's yeah. gonna hold it nice and straight. It's not gonna go flying away on you. And like, it's easy to take out. 